Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys. So, with today being the Thanksgiving holiday, I think we're going to run a little bit longer of an episode today to give everybody who is participating in the holiday a little extra, a little extra viewing. And those who aren't, well, you get the benefit of it as well. So, let's hop in. Let's see what we can get done. Let's see. We've got 5.4 days left in the drought. That's not bad. Okay, so over here, let's see. We've got tree farm set up. We've got our water set up. We've got religion set up. So, really, the only thing left for me to set up is a couple of farms over here. Well, I say the only thing. We're going to get up some farms and we're probably going to get some uh, industry going at some point. I'd like to have, you know, a lumber mill going so that we can at least have some planks over here. Well, I say that. I don't know. How much, how many planks do we got all together? We've got, we do got over 6,000. So it's not like we're hurting, but at the same time, once all of our industries get kicked off and you know going, we'll have we'll have a little bit less. Okay, so I need to come over here because I've had a couple comments the last few days uh, from uh, from I believe it was Red Phoenix telling me to get this power connected, and now we'll <laughs> now we'll get it connected. So. Which, I mean, you know, this one was enough to power this guy here by himself. So it's not like we were losing anything. We were just having, you know, a connected grid. So, I mean, all the stuff was still running. So and I'm glad you did remind me, though, because I probably would have forgot at some point. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it's it's working. It's together. How much water do we have over here? We only have 85 Okay, so we're about to have a little bit of a water crisis over here. They are pumping from down there. Let's see. Do I need... I don't know if I can actually extend... Yeah, I don't think I can extend over here and have a, have another thing in. I think we're going to have to put in any secondary piping and stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to have it back here. Okay. So we are working on that right now, trying to get that next, uh, next water pump in. Good. So I'm kind of ahead of the game. Not, not completely ahead, but we're, we're a little bit ahead. We're trying to actively get this solved here. And then over here, I need to probably turn these pumps on. Let them do their thing for a little while. Alright, so we've got what? Um, we've got a decent amount of spatter dock. We've got a lot of maple syrup. We've got a little bit of cattail flour and a whole lot of cattail roots. I wonder. I wonder if we need a second, uh, second grist mill over here. I kind of think we might. So if we put it over here like this, I can just turn it. Yeah, I can turn it. They can have access over here with it being, what did that say, 60? Let me see. Yeah, 60. That one should be enough to power it, I think. Let's see. Let's see what happens once the wind kicks on. If not, I can add in a second one. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I say that. Y'all ever... Is the wind going to come back on today? There it is. Uh, no, we're getting 136 power out of that. That should be... That's, that's enough to handle two of them. Okay, so we're just going to let that go. And then I'm going to set this for... Cattails. All right. Nothing to do in range. Where are we at? over here so 
So the only thing I could really do with this is to shut these down. You know what? I didn't see if there was stuff there or not. I'm assuming there wasn't, but there might have been something there. I am bad about doing that. Uh, hopefully there wasn't. Let me go ahead and put two more of these guys over here. We'll go ahead and get that going. And our log, yeah, almost guaranteed because our log deal is kind of full. Uh, let's put in another, another log storage. I'd like to put it right there in the corner, but they got logs in there. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right here. That way they can go from here to over there for a storage. That way we can get some extra logs stored away. And it should be good. At least I'm hoping it will be. All right. 3.1 days left. We'll let a little bit more water back over here. That way these pumps can keep pumping. The fields are working out quite nicely. And let's shut it off right there. No spillage. No spillage. Good. All right, so we've got that. And let me guess, they've drained that all the way down. They did drain that all the way down. That's okay, though. That is all right. We still got plenty of water. At least enough to make it through 2.7 days. So that's not too big of a deal there. We need to add in a second pump down here. Hold on. We need to detonate that. Now you can add in a second pump. Okay, now I can't remember exactly who it was, but someone had asked yesterday, or it was actually the day before, I believe, um, had asked if I could move this district, or not move the district, but use this district in order to get over here to kind of block this off and do stuff over here. And I might be able to do that. Um, I mean, in fact, with it right there, all I have to do is just take out that district center and I can just pretty much move it wherever I want. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and move this district center over because I do think I'm going to need one over here at some point. I'm going to put it like right there and let's see how, let's see how everything uh, how everything runs with the distance. Okay, so yeah, so we're still, I mean, we are red, so we probably can't go too much further beyond where we're at right there because that's the range limit right there. So yeah, we can pull it back this far, which would give me access to, we could actually get to that metal right there if we use this as a district. Um... What do we have over here? Do we have any setup? Oh no, this is all we had. Logs and planks. Okay, well that's okay. We can still we can still make some stuff work over here. I think. Uh, let's go ahead and should I do it like that? Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move this back. I'm going to do that right there, and I am going to put access up here. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then...
We'll put a water pump in up here. Okay, so we're gonna need some. Uh, we're gonna need some beavers. We're gonna need some volunteers here. Uh, let's see. We have eight vacancies. Wow, they're actually they're actually hurting for people right now. Uh, Y'all are right on where you need to be. We've got four extra beavers here. How about back here? Only two extra beavers. Okay, so we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to do something to get some extra beavers going over here. I think sending those beavers to the other district kind of kind of hurt our our stuff over here just a little bit. All right, so we are at twenty. Let me see if we can't add in some more housing because I think that's probably part of our problem is we don't have a whole lot of available housing. Uh, how many beds do we have free? We do have 10 beds. I mean, technically that could hold 10 kids, but let's go ahead and add in and we'll just kind of strengthen this a little bit, if you will. How am I going to do this though? Um... So what I'll have to do is we'll have to we'll have to run it like that, I suppose. Can I even reach that? Hold on. Uh, that that's sketchy. That is iffy. That is a probably not going to happen thing. Um You know what? Instead, how about we do it on this side? Okay, so if I did it on this side, what we could do is... Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's go to well-being. I'm going to put in a rooftop terrace right here. That way that evens back out. And then we're going to put in some housing Yeah, so we'll put in four more houses. That will give another 12 spaces for beavers. I don't want to go too big, too high just yet. Uh, not until we make sure everything is situated. We do got 12,000 food over here, so it's not like we're going to starve to death. We've got lots of baked potatoes, a ton of carrots. We've got bread. The only thing that we really don't have a lot of is the maple... Yeah, we don't have a lot of maple syrup, which these trees over here are kind of dried out a little bit. That's probably what I need to do is I need to put in a maple maple syrup field thing over here. So how about we do that? Let's come back in. Let's go to wood. Let's go to our forester right here. So if I bring him... Hmm. I'm curious where it would be the best spot to put him. Okay, how about this? Forester right there. Tapper shack right there. And we will go right there to here. And then... And then we'll just do that. And that'll give us that'll give us more maple trees to pull more maple syrup so that we can get more maple pastries done. Uh I don't know how much how much syrup is it? It's three syrup per tree after twelve days after the original thirty. So basically in forty two days we can start pulling syrup. And yeah, like I said, three per tree, so every ten will be thirty. Um that should help the numbers a little bit right there, I think. Might be nice to have a little step. You know what? Let's do this too. Hold on. Come back over here.
put in a little step down. I'll put in a little path right there. A little path right there. We'll get this built real fast. And I might be able to use that second terrace as some more. And then we'll just kind of increase our tree amount right there. And we are, hey, we are out of the, uh, we're out of the drought. Awesome. Did that get built? That did get built. Okay, yes, we can. Okay, so we can go all the way to roughly right there with trees. All right, yeah, let's add all that in as trees, and that should be a nice little deal. And then I would like to, what would I like to do? I don't know just yet. I'm not sure if we're going to need to go up or not. You know what? I'm going to come over here and let's put in... I'm going to put in a beaver statue right there. Yeah, put in a beaver statue over there, and let's put in a scarecrow over here. And we'll do that. Okay. So, I need to go check on things. Alright, so our water is flowing. Let's go ahead and open this up. Excellent. There is that. Okay, good. So where are we at with this? Uh, we are green. We are kind of orange right here. Okay, so if I were to build over... Technically, it would be better to build if I built over here. Or it would be better to build over here. Hold on. Let me do that. There you go. Build across here. That way we can access these trees over here. And that ought to give us a little bit, a little bit more. Gives us a little higher reach over here. All right. Well, that should be looking really nice, I think. All right, so we got all that situated. Let's see. Um, how are we doing? We are flowing. That's good. Yeah, they did get a little, little thirsty over here, didn't they? That's okay. Our pumps should be going again. Yeah, I believe they're reaching it now. Okay, so we need to get a little bit more over here. I think we might go ahead and add in a third pump over here. They can, they, yeah, they can surely reach all that, right? Yep, we are still green. All right, excellent. Let's add in another pump. There we go. So three pumps should help them out. I'd... I would assume. So this one's pumping. All of those are pumping. We're pumping over here. Yeah. 
So all we got to do is fill up. Now we might want to go ahead and add in a few more storages. Now that we've got extra pumps and everything, we might as well do that as well. How many gears do we have over here? Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of gears. Plenty of gears. All right, so let's do, you know what? I'm going to do it over here on, over the water. Let's go ahead and do that. Add one in right there. Go ahead and put our little roof over it. And then do I want to add in another one over here? I might. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Might as well future proof it just ever so slightly. There we go. All right. And we've got water flowing over here. Excellent. Okay, why did y'all end up with no water over here? Hmm. I wonder if it dried up right here. I must have. I bet it did. Well, I don't know. It just barely started pushing water. But then again, it does push a lot of water. I don't know. Maybe we need to add a few more pumps over here. Maybe. Maybe those new. Uh, what's it called? Um, maybe those water dumps are draining that much more water out of here. If so, that's okay. We'll just add in a few more pumps. Not a big deal. Might even put a few in over here. That way they can have... Have a little bit extra. All right. We are flowing. So now all we got to do is wait for this one to fill up and then we should be good over here. We still got a tad bit of water over here. So just to make sure we can expand, let's see, we have a couple gears. All right, I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to need more gears sent over here. Okay, let's see, down, down here, let's grab that. I don't think I need to send any more paper, but we will go ahead. I'm sending two things of logs. Okay, I don't remember, I vaguely remember something about that. Uh, yeah, do it like that. Okay. All right. And we're getting close. So by tomorrow, the water should start flowing. Hopefully this will be one of the longer wet seasons and I can actually get some water to the shallows. And then we can go from there. All right. Let's see. Pause you. Pause you. And then we'll bring in a couple more lumberjacks up here. There we go. And go ahead and like cut all that down. Awesome. All right, so we're going to have an eight-day wet season on this one, which isn't bad. It's not the greatest. I wish it would have been one more day, but we are going to get water back over here. It is going to fill that up a little ways. How are we doing over here? We are a little bit low. It's all right. They're working. They're pumping. They're doing their thing. Uh, this guy over here. I kind of wish, I kind of, I kind of want to put in a, uh, 
a thing right here to uh, floodgate. That way I can redirect some of this water to other areas if we needed to. Okay, what is what is y'all's problem now? Why y'all why are y'all hungry? Seriously? Okay, I'm so confused. This was one of my best producing areas and now it's like Oh, are we still sending food out from here? Hold on. Um, I'm sending potatoes out. You know what? Stop sending potatoes. Stop sending carrots to the shallows. We'll send we'll send carrots from over here. Let's let's reroute a couple of areas cuz that's going to end up causing a problem at some point. Is yeah, I was going to say they're hungry now too. So yes, let's switch that around. I mean, we've got potatoes in the fields here. All they got to do is collect them. But obviously they're not. Let's go ahead and throw in another farm. Uh what shall we put in? Let's do Do we have enough, hold on, do we have enough uh, flour to start sending out? We do have enough flour to start sending out. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start sending, let's see, stop sending that. Um, send flour over here. Yep, send flour. Let's get a bakery built. In fact, we'll do two bakeries. Okay, do we have any do we have any maple over here? We do have maple syrup. Okay, good. So one of these will be bread, one of these will be maple pastries, and that should help situate the uh, the thing here. Now, I kind of feel like I need a second farm over here just to help with all these carrots. Yeah, I'm going to add in another, well, do we even have an extra, be we have two extra beavers. We have just enough to do another farm over here. So if I put them here, that of course that's going to be right there where that scarecrow is. Hmm. You know what? Let's do that right there. That will overlap. I'm going to I'm going to add carrots. We need a fast uh fast crop over here. So I'm going to add in carrots right here. And then this field and that field will kind of overlap. We'll have the two extra beavers and we'll see we'll see what happens here. I wasn't expecting to run out of food. I mean, I'm we've got a ton of food. I just yeah. Okay, why are y'all still thirsty? Do it's like you have pumps. Pump the water, use the water, drink the water. Don't understand why all the bad things started happening. Uh, I guess that one drought must have been just a little bit too long. Either that or I had too much focus down here. Let's see how are we doing. Are they still... We haven't lost anyone, so that's good. I mean, other than old age. Of course, we're going to lose a few with old age, but yeah. All right, let's see. Who got range? Y'all are out of stuff to do. Okay, so let's pause you... Pause you both. Actually, I don't even need either one of you, do I? No. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two buildings because we don't need those anymore. How are we doing on treated planks? Do I have enough to start my mine? Let's see. Um, which ones are the treated? We have 232 treated planks. Let's send those over here to this guy. All right, yeah. Send the treated planks over there. And let's get... Let's 
Let's go ahead and get that mine unlocked. Let's see, does the mine cost electricity? I can't remember. Um, no. Okay, so the mine is not a powered mine. It's just a just a hole in the ground. That's fine. We can do that. Yeah, go ahead, pause that. That way I have one less alert on here. You're lacking grilled potatoes. Or you're lacking potatoes, yes? Or you're lacking lock. No, you're lacking potatoes. But we have a huge potato field right here. Do I need extra gatherers? Is that like a thing? Like, I guess I must need more gatherers. Okay, let's go ahead and put in another... I'll put in another farmhouse over here. We're eventually going to get this situated. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. Okay, are we not getting food sent? Where is... Where's our drop-off? Here's our drop-off. Uh, we've got the wheat flour coming in. Okay, so they haven't got the building built yet. So that's part of the problem. How are we doing on food down here? Do we have any extra we can send? We do have some extra. Send them some spatter dock. Let's see. Actually, send them some grilled spatter dock. Yeah, send them the grilled spatter dock. All right, y'all do that. And this place isn't full. No, it's only only has a hundred. Is all of our storages? No, our storages are not full. Okay. Okay, all of those pumps are. It's like the beavers aren't working anymore. It's like they just gave up on working. Okay, we're going to just, we're going to handle this the easy way real fast. We're going to fix this really, really fast. How many beavers do I got total? I've got 62 adults and 11 children. All right. Migrate them all. Y'all go eat. I think that's part of our problem. They're not getting anything built because the second they start doing something, someone gets a piece of food and they all rush to go get food. I think that's I think that's where the bottleneck is. So let's send them over here because, like I said, we've got food in the other places. So we'll send them over. We had 62 and 11. So we'll let them all come over here and eat. Just waiting on them to finish up. There we go. All right, now send back. Sixty-two and eleven. Okay, so maybe that will help them get situated now. Maybe now that they've got food in their stomachs, maybe they'll get some of my buildings built, and uh, we can get we can get processing. And get stuff going again. Okay, so I want to leave y'all on planting. I'm going to leave y'all on harvesting. Go ahead and, yeah, increase the speed of that building getting situated there. All right. So wherever we get the next set of beavers from, it's all going to be for food. Yeah, that one kind of that one kind of snuck up on me. Oops, hold on, hold on. We just well, that's not good. I didn't even realize the drought. Okay, so that one is stored. We just need to shut the floodgate here. 
Uh, let me just see how were we doing. Okay, so we're doing all right there. We've got water. We've got water back over here for right now. Uh, okay, who's supposed to be sending us food? Prime Firth is supposed to be sending us food. Why are y'all not sending food to the shallow? Send the carrots. I know y'all have the carrots. You have like 6,000 carrots. Send them some carrots, beavers. There we go. And this is, is that overflowing? No. Okay. So we're still good with that. All right. Great. All right. So we're one beaver short over here, but we got seven children. We are three. Oh no, hold on. We are zero beaver short, but we have 14 kids coming in. So that's good. We've got only six coming in over here, and we have ten unemployed. Okay. So that's not bad, having that many unemployed. And then we've got eight over here, so we're going to hang on to that. Okay. We got this. We got this. Just takes a second. Did y'all ever get food sent over here? 289 gears. See, why are we not... I really wish they would fix this bug. I really do. You can argue with me if you want. It's a bug. The The storage system is... I really hope when they, they fix it, they fix this. Uh, what do we got? We got gears, paper, and planks. Alright, let me see. Where is our gears? Gears right here. We got 11... Take that up to a hundred gears, paper. That's probably why they're not getting food is because the thing's full of other stuff. All right. Let's see if they come and empty it now. Yep. Now they're emptying it. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to say that was at least this one over here was a logistical problem. Uh, I think while we have a little bit of water, I think I want to get a farm going over. Well, I say that. We really don't have any extra beavers to spare. Well, I can take take those beavers, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do, let's do a small farm over here. That way they can start building up some sort of food themselves. We'll just put a thing right there. Run this out here. And yeah, you know, just give me give me a little bit of a carrot field over here. Now, of course, when the river runs dry, that is going to pose a little bit of a problem there. But I think... We might be able to solve that with a uh, with a dump. I could detonate that and hollow that out. That would be a little bit of a dump right there. Hmm. Or we could put it down on the ground. I don't know. We'll figure out a spot for a water dump. But anyway, let's see. They are they're receiving food now. Yes. Yeah, see, now we're getting carrots. Now we're getting... Okay, logistics solved for now. 
Um, I actually I say that. Hold on. Yeah, see, this one's completely empty. I don't. It's like when you turn off the the desired, it just doesn't allow anything in there. Either way, we'll get that going. How are we doing over here? Did we finally? Yes, it looks like. It looks like that is now situated. All right, food is going up. Okay, good. So a little bit, a little bit of an issue, but we didn't lose any beavers. So the only ones we lost were to old age. So that's good. All right. So we've got extra beavers harvesting the potatoes. I've got extra beavers harvesting the carrots. Uh, we've got beavers working on maple pastries and on uh bread so that should that should not only increase it but that should also increase our well-being so yes now we are going we are doing better how many beavers do we got total we are approaching 330 yeah so we got 327 so that's not bad not bad at all. We can still grow and expand, I think, before we start having too many more problems. Ah, uh, yeah, the power deal. I was like, why is it tripping? Yeah, we don't have... We don't have wind. I probably should put a battery over here. That's probably what we need to do. Uh... Where would be a good spot? On top of this would be a good spot to put a battery, I'd think. Of course, then again, I might stack the storages up higher, too. Huh. Of course, I can't put it right there because it'll interfere. Hold on. Wrong one. Can I put that there? Yeah, no. It's going to block it. Okay. So I guess we're just going to put in a small battery for the time being then. Yeah, it's not going to be very much, not going to be very big, but. Okay. All right. Yep. Pause all of these buildings. Hey, those are just about good. We'll go ahead and let a couple of those beavers work over there. I say that as we don't have any beavers doing this. Hold on. Food is a little bit more important than wood, I think. How many are we missing? Uh, six vacancies, huh? Okay, so where do I got beavers working that don't need to be working? Pause them. There we go. Yeah, get two beavers in there on that.
At least until we get some more over here. Alright, just checking our water storage real fast, making sure we're not too low on anything. These guys could probably use another barrel. Let's see, do we have gears? Uh, we do not have gears. Okay. Go ahead and send them some gears and... There we go. That got a little overflow down there. That'll give those pumps something to work with for a minute. All right. Excellent. How we doing on food? And just like that, we're back over 1,500. Food's looking pretty good over here. I think we're just gonna keep keep gathering. For some reason, I don't I don't like how I don't like this tiered carrot patch. I really don't. I think if we get the um, the golems at some point, I'd like to kind of level this off so that it's flat right there. That way we don't have multiple different levels. I think it just, it causes too much confusion and headache with the AI, I think. They get weird with trying to plant and do things and yeah. You know what, you focus on planting over here. Y'all get all this planted and then you can harvest later. All right. Yeah, we can still accept the grilled spatter dock. We haven't ran them out down here, have we? Oh, no. Oh, no. We still got a lot of grilled spatter dock. Okay. Nope, we're still good in that aspect. All right, so we've got that. How are we doing? We don't have any bakeries yet, do we? Over here. No, we do not. All right, so that's the next thing is to get some bakeries going so that I can get some... Uh, some cattail crackers on the go so we'll add a little deal right here I'll throw in a bakery and I know I'm gonna need people to man it or beaver it or however it's said but we'll do that now we've got a couple extra okay so that's good they can take care of that they'll start producing cattail crackers We've got four extra over here. We've got 11 here. Eight over there. All right. So, yeah, I think that's I think that's okay to have. So, I always like to keep at least, you know, seven to... Really, seven to ten is ideal in a district just because you never know how many beavers are going to die off at once. And having a handful that can get back in and take care of some stuff is always nice. All right, who has nothing to do? Okay, so you two finished up all of that, huh? Okay, go ahead and grab all of that then. There we go.
All right, it looks like a lot of our water storages are filled back up. Did they never, okay, why did we not build this one? Do we not have planks? I have planks. Oh, let me guess, y'all are working on this one first, aren't you? Yes. Yes, all my gears are going over here to uh, to the mine. Okay. Maybe instead of focusing on that, maybe we focus over here for a minute. Yeah, get that other water storage going first. Yeah, I think we're doing all right now. Most definitely doing all right. Okay, so good. So we've got a carrot crop planted and we're over halfway there. So that should, that should help take care of uh, all the beavers over here. At least it's a start anyway. Once I get a couple extra, we'll probably do some sunflowers or potatoes or something like that. And we'll just keep adding a few and, you know, growing it. Probably wouldn't hurt. Do we have... Yes, we do have some dynamite. Uh, let's see. Let me do... What do I want to do? I want to... Not exactly ideal, but it'll work. So just to make sure this area kind of stays a little bit more green, I'm going to put in a few dynamite spots. So we might lose part of the field towards the farmhouse when it dries up a little bit, but that should help at least keep it green uh, right here next to the banks. So that should work. Okay. And we are producing no available workers. What happened to my workers? Hold on. What do we do? We got four vacancies, huh? Okay, so how about we do, how about I do this? Let me pause this and then I will unpause this and we'll let, we'll let that fill up later on right now. I want to make sure we've got food to help increase the longevity of things. If we need to, I could send workers down there, but I think for the most part, we're good right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, like I said, that should help out with that. Huh. 
How many free beds? We only have three free beds over here. Yeah, I guess until we... Well, I don't know. Part of me says to go ahead and get some more babies going so that we can get another another farm over here. Why don't we do that? Why don't we add in a few more houses? At least two more. That'll give us room for another six beavers. We might get a couple extra so that we can get in. Like I said, I want to get in a net, another farm. Either uh, either sunflowers or potatoes. One of the two. That way we can get that little bit of an extra bonus going for them over there. Trying to keep them alive as long as we can. Trying to increase that well-being. All right, guys. Well, I am liking where we're at. Had a little bit of a rough spot, but we overcame it. We conquered it. We got stuff going again. And I believe as long as everything looks, continues looking good. Yeah, see, we're over 3,000 food. So all it took was just a little bit, a couple extra little farm. It wasn't even really that much. It was just adding in a couple beavers to collect it all, really. I mean, we did add in a tiny bit of carrot right here, but I think for the most part, a lot of it was just having the extra hands to gather stuff. I kind of wish they'd make the option in the um, in the farmhouses to be able to hold more than two beavers. I really think three or even four beavers would be ideal because you can get some uh, you can get some pretty big fields going. So. But I know, simple solution, add in another building. But anyway, I think that is probably about it for today's video, guys. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. We, uh, It's fitting that we had a food crisis on Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> one of those deals, one of those deals. But yes, we've got, I think we've got our food situated. We've got more beavers in, in place and all that kind of stuff. Did we get that power shaft? Okay, so that is connected. Okay, great. Sorry, just had to check on that. That way I, I had it connected and everything was good. But anyway, yeah, so we had a little bit of a food crisis, a little bit of a water crisis. But at the end of the day, we got them both solved. We just had to add a few more pumps, add a few more farmhouses in. And just like that, everything situated so, but that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all. For all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.